Okay, a new type of story problem. Um, wrong page. A startled armadillo jumped straight into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 14 feet per second. I forgot to do this. You want to underline feet and seconds, and that's for every problem. You'll have feet, you'll have seconds. How many seconds does it land on the ground? And also, you're always going to be finding the seconds for your answer. Now, here's why it's a new type of problem. You have the two units, feet and seconds. So seconds is x, feet is y, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then per feet per second. Now the feet per second is 14, but here's why you're not going to make a table. Because the armadillo does not just continuously go up for eternity. Okay. He goes up, goes up comma, but then he comes down. So it's impossible to make a table out of that. So what you're going to do is draw a path of the armadillo. He goes up, reaches a high point, comes down. This is known as a parabola. Okay. Now, to write an equation of a parabola, first off, we'll write the equation here in a bit. When you draw a parabola, you always want to mark where he started at. Okay. He started at zero feet, and that's going to be all the objects we see in this assignment. They don't always start at zero feet, but in this assignment we're going to put there. Now he lands on the ground, and that's also zero feet. And we have to find the seconds, how many seconds he lands on the ground. So I'm going to put seconds, question mark. Okay. Now, okay. Now, here's how you write an equation from a parabola. You make a bigger box, okay, because most of the work's done on the equation. Now, that's when you make your slot, and you always start with x to the second. How, how, why is it x second? Because this is an x to the second equation. Then you make a slot for your x, then you make a constant slot, and then you put equals y. Now, I'm going to explain what these slots represent. This slot here is the force of gravity. The force of gravity, we use the same number every time. And that number, it's not going to be in the problem, but that number is always negative 16. Okay. This right here is the rate. Okay, And that comes from up here, it's 14. This is the starting height. But the starting height is just zero, so then I'm allowed to delete that space. Okay. Now, this Y here is going to go because where he lands, he lands at zero feet. Since it's zero feet and feet is equal to Y, the, y, the zero goes in for Y. Now write your equation with all, all that crap. Negative 16x to the second plus 14x equals zero. Now it's not a story problem, okay? Now I have the equation, so I solved the equation. It has two answers because of the x to the second, but there's also an x to the first, and those cannot be combined, so we have to apply our factoring properties. So, the only way you know how to factor yet is to underline the terms. There's only two of them, okay? You don't count the zero. And you make a GCF box, okay? Put e the equals zero shifts outside. Okay, remember the two things you check for before you go here. Check your last term for a variable, and it's there, x. Check your, oh, we're always going to have a negative there. Okay, because gravity is always negative 16. It's got to be negative 16, not 16. Then 16 and 14, okay, you look in the 2 row, because that's where they both appear, and that would be 2. Okay, so that's uh, P1. Now to find P2, i got to go up and divide both of these by negative 2x. So negative 16 divided by negative 2 is 8. x to the second divided by x is x. Then I divide 14 by negative 2. And I get negative 7. So I express that as minus 7. Then x over x cancels. Don't put an x on 7. There's your p2. Now you set each one of these p's equal to 0 individually. It's called the zero product rule. 
Because if this times this is 0, then 8x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, so you have times, so you divide by negative 2, and you get 0. Now I'm going to explain why you got an answer of 0 in the context of the problem. Then here, I plus 7, plus 7, 8 times x equals 7, and then I divide each side by 8. 7 divided by 8, you can write that decimal or you can second PRB it, so that would be 7 eighths. Now, 7 eighths is how long it took to get back to 0 feet. Now, you have 0 here because before he jumped, no time has gone by. Okay, That would be 0 seconds, but I care more about the 7 eighths, the positive. So 7 eighths. Or you can put 0 0.875. It doesn't matter to me. Less than a full second. Okay, next problem, we're going to make a switch right off the bat. Instead of 4.5, we're going to put 4. A penguin jumps out of water while swimming at an initial velocity of 4 feet per second. After how many seconds does a penguin land back in water? So we're finding the number of seconds it took for the penguin to leave and then go up here. So we have feet and seconds. So x is seconds, y is feet. So per, feet per second. That's 4, 4 times x. Now you got to use some logic here. We're not going to go with the table because it goes up, but then it go comes back down. So goes up, comes down means the table is not going to make any sense. So then I go make a parabola. Okay, we mark where he started, which is zero feet. And then he ended back in the water, zero feet. For today, the zero, zero. That's going to change eventually, but for now, zero and zero. Now, to write an equation, and it's a parabola is what it's called. So to write an equation from a parabola... You're always going to start with your x to the second slot, followed by your x slot, followed by your constant, and then equals y. Okay, so this is gravity. Gravity is always expressed as negative 16. Just like pi is 3.14, gravity is a special number. This is your rate. Okay, The rate's up there, it's 4. And you don't put times x because the x is right there. And this is where the constant is where he started at. What he started from zero, so we just put zero and delete the space. Now, before now we replace one of our variables, zero feet, and feet equals y, so we replace the y with zero, and I have to solve for x. Okay, so we have two answers because of the x to the second power, that tells you you have 2. Now, along with x to the second, we have x to the first. Those cannot be combined, so we have to use our factoring principles. Okay, so these two terms, I'm not worried about the 0. Okay, so GCF, that's the only way I've taught you how to factor at this point. Okay, okay so you got x, yep, you got x. You have the negative, and then look up 16 and 4. Now here's 4, and 16 is there, so it's 4 this time. And that's your P1. Now you divide by negative 4x. Negative 16 divided by negative 4 is 4. And then x to the second divided by x is x. Then positive 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1, so we express that as minus 1, and these cancel. So there's your P2. So now we're good. Negative 4x could equal 0, or 4x minus 1 could equal 0. Okay, so that's a time. So you divide each side by negative 4, and I get 0. Now the 0 seconds I want to see there, but all that means is there was 0 seconds when he started, which makes sense. Okay. Now over here, this is where he landed. Okay. Plus 1, plus 1, that's 1. Divide by 4. 
1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. You can put 0 0.25 if you like that, or second PRB. So I don't really care. You can put 1 fourth or 0 0.25. But 1 fourth of a second, that's less than a full second, okay, is how long it took him to land. So it's a fat penguin. So he just, his vertical is not very good. Okay. A cat leaps from the ground into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 11 feet per second. After how many seconds does a cat land on the ground? So we're evaluating how many seconds it takes. So feet and seconds. So seconds is x, feet is y. So per, feet per second. Okay, the feet per second I have is 11, 11 times x. But again, we are not going to make a table. Tables only work when it just goes either up all the time or down all the time. Well, he goes up, but then he comes down. Okay, so no table. You can't do a table with that. So you make a graph where you go up, reach a high point, maximum point, and come down. Okay, so the cat leaps from the ground, that would be zero feet, and then he ends in the ground, that would be zero feet. Okay, so we make a slot x to the second plus slot x plus constant equals y. Okay, so this is gravity, and that's always expressed with the value negative 16. And then feet per second is 11. Then the constant, okay, or here I'll put the rate and then right there is where the cat started from which is just zero which enables me to delete that spot now if you just started at five feet I'd have to put a five there then we got a different ball game but for now there and then this zero feet of landing height wherever he landed this is what we're trying to figure out how many seconds that is okay I didn't put that on the last problem okay question mark seconds so you got neg so then you replace your y zero feet with at with your put your zero in place of the y because zero feet is y so if that's zero feet it replaces my y variable. So negative sixteen x to the second power plus eleven x equals zero. Okay, now we have two answers for the x. So we have x to the second, and we have x, okay, so we have to apply factoring properties. One thing I've glossed over here so far, you have to have zero to apply factoring. So this is set, okay, I didn't write that on the first two, but it was zero, okay. So now I'm good to go. I've got these two terms, and I go GCF, okay. So I check the last of the two terms for x, it's there. Check for a negative in front, it's there. 16 and 11, there, well, 16 isn't in the 11th row, so 11's only in the first row, and 16's there, so it'd be 1. So negative 1x, there's P1. Then I go divide by negative 1x, positive 16. Negative divided by negative is a positive. x second divided by x is x. Positive divided by a negative is a negative, so it would be minus 11. Express it as minus when that second one's negative, and then these cancel. And there's P2. Okay, So P1, negative 1x could equal 0. P2, 16x minus 11 could equal 0. Okay, so that's a time, so I divide each side by negative 1, and x equals 0. Okay. That's the seconds that go with that zero feet, but I don't care about that. I want to see it, but that's not the answer I put. Then plus 11, plus 11, 16 times x equals 11, and you divide by 16. 11 divided by 16 is decimal, so second PRB, 11 sixteenths. So it will take 11 sixteenths of a second, okay? So that's less than a full second. You can get bigger than whole seconds. And then this next one, not much going on. OK, 
Okay, then the last example, this next one we're skipping because I wrote it like an idiot. Okay. A spittle bug jumps into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 10 feet per second. After how many seconds does a spittle bug land on the ground? So I'm relatively sure when he starts at zero seconds, so I can expect to get one of my answers at zero. Okay. So I have feet and seconds. So the seconds is x, the feet is y. So per feet per second. Okay, the feet per second is 10, so 10 times x. So again, no table because the spittle bug, whatever that is, goes up, comes back down. So no table. So you make your parabola, okay? Anytime we make a parabola, we need to know where it started. So he jumps from the ground. If they don't tell you where he started, assume it's the ground. Okay. Then he goes up, and he comes back down, and he's going to be at zero feet when he comes down, and I have to find the, the seconds, how many seconds that is. So now I make my equation. Okay. So slot x to the second plus slot x plus the constant slot equals y. So again, this slot is filled with the gravity term. And that's negative 16. This slot here is filled in with your 10, because that's your rate. This slot here is filled, up, filled with the start position, but the start position is 0, so then that enables me to delete that. Okay. All right, then this zero feet goes into the equation, and since it's feet, and feet is equal to y, put it in for y. So since there's not a table, I just go look up here. So negative 16x to the second power plus 10x equals zero. Okay. So now we know there's two answers for the x. Okay. We know we have x to the second and we have x to the first. Okay, so I apply my factoring properties. There's more than one factoring property, but so far just pretend you only know one. So you make sure you're set one side at zero and you are. So that gives you the go ahead to underline the terms. There's two, so you make it into a greatest common factor box, GCF. And you check for your x on the second or the final term. It's there. Okay. That's a negative. And then 16 and 10. So 10, not there. Here's 10, no 16. 10 and 16, so it would be 2. Okay, and that's P1. So then I go divide by negative 2x. So negative 16 divided by negative 2 is 8 x to the second divided by x is x. 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5, so we express that as a minus 5. Those cancel. Okay. Now I set my p each factor equal to 0. Okay. So times, so you divide by negative 2. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. That accounts for the seconds where he's there, but that's kind of obvious. Now the other one, plus 5, plus 5, that's 5. Then divide each side by 8. Now 5 divided by 8 is, gives me a decimal. If you want to put that, that's fine. Or second PRB, it would be 5 eighths of a second. So that's the number of seconds it took to get to the zero feet. So five-eighths is the answer.